Hi, my name is Todd Parker. I'm a professional photographer in Houston, Texas. I'm also a Jeep JK owner and a Jeep enthusiast. Saw a, an ad for a Smitty Belt replacement tailgate for a Jeep JK back in January of 2018. Ordered it. These were some of the first to roll off the assembly line. It just arrived. We're in late March 2018. So this video, I'm going to unbox this tailgate. Uh, we're going to bolt it together. It is a, a bolt assembled um, tailgate and uh, we'll install it and give a slight review and hopefully this will be helpful for those who are looking at potentially buying this new XRC tailgate from Smitty Belt. What you see here is exactly how this box was delivered. This part in this box shipped from China weighs 105 pounds. So uh, the box got beat up, uh, it got torn up a good bit, uh, but uh, it looks like everything is intact inside. So I'm going to unbox this thing and see how damaged uh, it might be, uh, but I suspect it's going to be okay to go. When I got the box open, the very first thing on top was a, a pretty good set of instructions here. I had made the assumption that uh, I would take this tailgate assembly, get it completely assembled, and then install it on the Jeep. Uh, according to these instructions, uh, they call for pulling the old tailgate off first, putting the uh, tailgate uh, base piece on first so it's easier to lift and, and stab onto the hinges uh, and then install the tire carrier on afterwards. So I'm going to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in here so I can give a good review on how thorough they are and I'm about to start that right now. Here is the final exploded view of what's in the box. Here you've got the hinges uh, and the tailgate assembly. It's much more uh, assembled uh, coming right out of the box than it looks when you order it online. Um, we also have uh, most of this uh, is the separate spare tire assembly that bolts onto the back uh, and a few trim pieces. So um, I am about to get started on the assembly. So the job's done. It took a total of six hours. I did it alone uh, and it took a little bit of manhandling to get uh, the, the pins stabbed into the hinges. Uh, but overall, uh, the, uh, the, the assembly went smoothly, uh, the install went smoothly. There's a lot of details that you got to work on to make sure you get them right. Um, there are some things in this instruction manual that are a bit out of order. And for the record, in the order of the book, uh, there's an inner door liner on the tailgate and you need to take the bolts. There's eight bolts in it. You got to take that out uh, to slide the hinge mounts uh, inside the door. Uh, so one of the assembled pieces that comes from the factory assembled, you've got to remove to get the, the hinges on. Um, there are packets of eight bolts for the spare tire mount on the tailgate. Uh, there are four that are slightly longer. They don't say anything in the instruction book about it. Uh, and those on the longer end have to be on the hinge or the right side uh, of the uh, tailgate. Um, and believe me, you'll realize when you're putting it together if you get the, the bolts wrong. Uh, there's a skid plate uh, when the tailgate closes uh, that kind of aligns it up. Uh, in the factory tailgate, uh, there are two screws that screw into a boss in the door. On this one, you've got to supply your own uh, nut and washers. That's the only thing they didn't pack. The, um, all the parts and the nuts and bolts were clearly packed, clearly marked, uh, easily uh, identifiable. The wiring uh, for your electric door lock in the factory door, the wiring is going to be too short in this new tailgate because of the way you have to route um, uh, the wiring through the door. Um, there are some Allen, some tiny Allen head screws. Most of the stuff in here is, is grade eight bolts, um, and, uh, but they have some little Allen heads for some trim pieces, uh, and those things are junk. Throw those away, don't use them, go to the hardware store, go to the parts store, uh, pick them up. They're like M2 uh, metric heads. Um, and it's gonna take you several attempts to get uh, the tire mount in exactly the right height and spacing away from the Jeep. Uh, it took me about three or four tries before I got it right, and you know it's a lot of work uh, lifting uh, and getting things uh, up and down. Uh, and the final thing is, uh, in this instruction book, the very last thing they tell you to do is to install the brake light. Uh, but if you install the brake light last, you have to knock the studs out to put it in. So make sure you install the brake light, the third brake light that's in the middle, uh, before uh, you put, pull the studs through. Because if you don't, you've got to knock the studs out and then install it. So let's take a look at the door, see what you think. So here's what the final 
installed door looks like. Uh, just like the photos on the website from Smitty Built with all of the uh, pre-promotional materials, uh, this thing is built solid. It is, uh, when you put the tire on it and you close the door, it is a solid, tight fit. There is absolutely zero rattles in this door when you drive down the street. Um, and I mean, you can hit bumps uh, and railroad tracks and everything else. And I mean, it is just silent back there. Um, I had a 35-inch tire mounted on my factory tailgate, uh, and it was just absolutely a nightmare. Um, I used a conduit to put these wires through the door, uh, just some cheap uh, 2 $3 conduit from the hardware store, tidies it up a little bit, uh, but this thing is rock solid. Bam! And for the final piece here, I'll show you just how solidly this door closes. So when you swing this thing closed, uh, the factory tailgate would rattle and shake, uh, and watch how this one closes, and the tire takes all the abuse. Bam, look at that tire shake. So uh, this is an outstanding uh, tailgate, an outstanding product. It is solid, uh, it is well built, and I would definitely recommend the Smitty Built XRC tailgate uh, for a Jeep JK.